Hello and welcome back to The Note, coming to you this week from Tokyo. Today we're going to talk about the yen, depreciated very sharply under the first few years of the Abe government, but it's actually strengthened somewhat of late. Could that be a problem? My interview today is with the ideal guest on this subject. He used to be known as Mr. Yen, the uh, Minister of Finance responsible for foreign exchange for many years. He's Mr. Eisuke Sakakibara. At the moment, the yen has been beyond 120 to the dollar. It's now at about 116, 117. Where do you think it's going to come to rest? Well, it would probably move in the range of 115 and 120 for some time, you know, for the next three months or so. Uh, but uh, there is a possibility that it will break 115 and head toward 110. Uh, the likelihood of uh, heading toward 110 is uh, greater than the likelihood of going back toward 120s. But you seem quite relaxed about that, uh, that prospect. How important is the yen at this point? What kind of level does the Japanese economy need, need the yen to be? As long as the yen is between 110 and 130, you know, nobody is really that much concerned about that. You know, it's, the, the rate is all right. You know, even if it goes down to 115, uh, nobody is uh, that much is disturbed. If it goes beyond 100, right. that may create some kind of problem. But uh, 115, 110 is, is, is not a concern for many people. Now, is it fair to say that, obviously Japan is still a great exporting nation, but mm -hmm. is, it, is it fair to say that the yen is less important uh, than it was for the, for the economy than it was at the time that you were uh, in charge of uh, foreign exchange policy and at one point you were coordinating to uh, to weaken it. I, is it is it just a less salient issue now? I think so because uh, there has been a lot of overseas production by Japanese corporations hmm. you know so uh, if uh, Japanese corporations are producing in China in India and then, uh, you know, uh, weak yen is not a help to them. So that uh, exchange rate, you know, uh, compared to 20 years ago, hmm. is less important, uh, you know, uh, because of the overseas production of the Japanese corporations. OK, and that's, uh, that allows people to be more relaxed. Finally, I'd be interested, why do you think, it's clear enough why we saw the, the, the big depreciations, we, we had the first stages of Arbenomics. Why have we seen this move uh, to strengthen again in the last few months? Is it, is it linked to the strength of the dollar? Is it linked to the problems for commodity currencies? Why, why is the yen strengthening? Well, uh, well, yen has depreciated significantly mm. uh, because of the aggressive easing the monetary policy mm. by Bank of Japan. Yeah. Uh, they, they have eased the monetary policy in 2013 and again in uh, 2014-2015. The because of that, the yen has you know yen used to be in 2012 you know 80-90, and then because of the aggressive you know easing of the monetary policy, it went above 100 and finally above 120. Mm. Now I think a phase of aggressive you know uh, monetary policy is over, although you know easing is continuing, and the uh, market has incorporated. Uh, tightening by the mm. United States, so that it is slowly, you know, going back to one one fifteen at this moment. But plainly, just to underline, at, as it stands at the moment, that is not a, a, a matter of concern for you. This is not something that would justify any change in Japanese policy or intervention. To, to no, make. no, uh, this lady is all right with us. But uh, Mr. Kuroda may further ease the monetary policy uh, toward the end of this year because in 2017 there will be increase of value added tax to 10%, right. uh, which would be a negative factor for the Japanese economy. So that uh, uh, Mr. Kuroda may be contemplating some kind of easing toward the end of the year. Okay, Mr. Sakakibara. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you um, very much. Thanks. And uh, in conclusion, many people are very concerned that the strengthening of the yen might be a reason to be concerned about the Japanese economy or the Japanese stock market, at least at these levels, perhaps not.